Hey guys, this is the 100 prisoner dilemma. There are 100 prisoners and the prison decides they don't want to house the prisoners anymore. So they decide to either let all the prisoners go free or take all the prisoners' lives. In order to decide which outcome, they come up with a game. They get 100 boxes labeled 1 to 100 and inside those boxes, they randomly place the numbers 1 to 100. For example, box number 5 has the number 65 inside of it and box number 46 has the number 1 inside of it. One at a time, they give each prisoner 50 guesses to find their box. And then when they're done, they leave and they can't talk to the other prisoners. If all the prisoners find their box, they all are set free. If one or more don't find their box, no one is set free. If we look at one individual prisoner, if this prisoner chooses 50 boxes at random, their chance of success is 50%. And apparently there is nothing the individual can do to improve their probability of success. And if we look at the total group, if each person chooses a box at random, the chance that the whole group will find each of their individual boxes is one half to the hundred power, which is approximately eight times 10 to the negative 31 which is basically impossible. But even though there was no way for the individual to improve their probability of success above 50%, there is a way to improve the group probability all the way from nearly 0% up to around 31%. I'll show you an example of the strategy. So he's number 36, he has 50 guesses to find his box. So he'll find his number 36 and open the box. Then he'll go to this 45 and open that box. And then he'll go to 37 and open that box. And then the 51 to that box, 40 opens that box. This says go to 35, 59, 18, Two. This says open 99, 99 says 86, 86 says 79, 79 goes to 71, 71 goes to 56, and 56 says 36, so we found it. And here's the loop that it took right here. It was a 14 step loop. Using this method, he shifted his probability not of the probability of choosing his card at random, but it's now the probability that he is in a loop of less than 50 numbers. And this probability happens to also be 50%. But if we look at this group as a whole, now using this strategy, instead of the probability of success being random, it's going to be the probability that every prisoner's number is in a loop of less than 50 numbers. And this probably ends up being around 31%. It's a fascinating situation where the individual's probability is the same, but the groups can be greatly improved. It works because they're no longer independent events like before. Now everyone's success depends simply on the breakdown of the loops in the boxes. They will still lose around 69% of the time because 69% of the time there will be a loop with greater than 51 numbers. So it isn't a foolproof plan, but it is way better than 8 times 10 to the negative 31. So if you want to learn more about this is called the 100 prisoner dilemma. There's a lot of interesting math behind all these probabilities. 